EA Sports is proud to bring you coverage of the world of golf. Today from the Los Angeles Country Club, home of the 2023 United States Open. With Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting is important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, there always greens. That's the secret. way to start the day Frank. straight out of the gate and the barn door is officially open things to come a well-played first hole of the day yielding an easy birdie the second is a tough par four measuring out at 497 yards bunkers serve as obstacles left and right off the tee but this hole's all about the second shot as players will likely be faced with a long approach over the barranca and this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first this in the fairway at number two. Good chance at one. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face. And a good chance for birdie. Nope. Okay, that's finished off for a par. The third is another par four, this one a bit shorter at 419 yards. You'll want to get familiar with the hole location prior to teeing off. Left side hole locations should dictate a drive up the right side of the fairway and vice versa. Up at the putting surface, three front bunkers protect this molar shaped green. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. And that is not the spot to be. Okay, good up and down out of the thick stuff, and that is in for par. We come now to our first par three of the round. It is the downhill 228-yard fourth. The biggest issues to contend with here, green side bunkers both left and right, as well as a difficult runoff area over the back, making par a challenge when tee shots miss the mark. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. 
It would be very easy to underread this putt. There is break on it from left to right, particularly as it nears the hole. No, that was low from the start. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. The fifth is a par four at 480 yards. This hole bends ever so slightly to the right as it runs parallel to Sunset Boulevard and features an expanded landing area since the most recent redesign. Two front bunkers protect a green that's been restored to its original Thomas and Bell configuration. Now a second from 164 yards out. Oh, this could be good. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Not a problem. That's in for birdie. That's what moves to two under par. It's believed that just about every great course in the world features one par four under 350 yards, allowing for multiple playing options. On the north course, it's this one, the sixth. This hole checks in at just 325 yards and is one of the great risk-reward holes on this course. Long hitters can have a go at the green, but doing so brings in all manner of obstacles that are avoided when playing for position off the tee. Then I have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Yes, a good look at that one all the way in. It's a birdie. Push that score to three under for the round. Turning south, we come to as long a par three as you're going to find in major championship golf. The seventh hole here checking in at a full 284 yards all you want oak trees lining this secluded section of the golf course and players will have the option of landing their tee shots shy of the green on the short grass and running them onto the putting surface this is a tough test that's going to be on the putting surface and the birdie looks straight ahead this would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close take cuts that length for granted but that's in for a par the second of the par fives on the course is this one the 547 yard eighth hole this is another of the great risk reward holes on the course a well-struck drive should have a reasonable chance to reach this green in two but beware of the barranca left and bear in mind that this green is on the smallish side so long approaches will need to be precise and all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five frank got everything out of that 
Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Oh, man, absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. The final hole of the front side of the north course at the Los Angeles Country Club is a par three at 171 yards, a good football field shorter than the seventh. Bunker short, left and right protect a narrow green featuring a number of dramatic contour changes. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. She'll brush that one in for her par here at the ninth. The back nine here on the north course begins with the 374-yard par 410. But this hole lacks in length. It makes up for in bite as a total of seven bunkers are placed at strategic locations, swallowing up any errant shots. Boy, she just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. Just unable to do anything wrong right now. Another terrific shot. Okay, that nothing more than a tap. And that's how this round has gone. Just a sensational display so far. This is one of the most beautiful holes on the course. The part three, 11. If you thought the seventh was long, try this one on for size. This hole's given length on the scorecard, 290 yards. Carrying those two front bunkers is a must. Getting the ball to stop, sometimes that can be another matter entirely. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, this one's a little bit downhill overall, with a break from left to right to consider also. Oh yeah, that one could run in a terrific effort there for a birdie here at the North grade. The 12th is a dogleg left, part for it, a manageable 380 yards. Most players should be left with a short iron in with their second, but as with the 11th, two jagged front bunkers provide a problem to be avoided and can sometimes wreak havoc with depth perception. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Uh, today it's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there the swing the strike look how close that is well the birdies are coming fast and furious now that a third in a row the 13th is a long par four checking in at a full 507 yards this is another picturesque hole with vistas of bel air and benedict canyon most players will want to steer their tee shots to the left to get a better view of the putting surface. Up at the green, a deceptive tilt left to right means that approaches that miss left can lead to a very difficult up and down. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rock. Big hit, though.
Oh, off the flagstick. Always a good shot in the rough, but now a chance for a birdie. So that's a good approach shot. This from seven feet. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. The 14th is the last of the par fives here on the north course, and it is also the longest, measuring at 623 yards. Players will need to avoid a section of three right side bunkers off the tee, and bunkers once again become an issue up near the green with a large front bunker to carry, as well as smaller bunkers left and right. Good. It was definitely there. What a wonderful tee shot. hit that second shot on the button to this par five but frank couldn't get it to stop yeah too good too long sadly round has gone just a sensational display so far part of the great design here at the los angeles country club is the variety of challenges golfers are faced with here we follow the longest hole on the course with the shortest the 124 yard par 315th players of course will note the bunkers that ring a good 70 to 80 percent of the green but the most distinctive feature is the bump in the middle of the green that must be factored in when deciding where to land that tee shot. Now this for another birdie. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. Nine under for the round. The final three-hole stretch of long par fours begins here with the 542-yard 16th. This hole was renovated to more closely resemble its original design, and its fairway connects to the 10th in a nod to the old course at St. Andrews. Multiple bunkers are in play off the tee, with two more up near the large green. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Oh, just a, a beautiful performance. And this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. If only they could all be that short. Very well played there. And it results in an easy birdie. Now to the 17th. A toughie at 520 yards. Look out from the tee and bunkers will comprise a lot of what you see. But this really is a standout hole with beautiful sycamore trees providing an alluring backdrop. Up near the green. A series of four bunkers protect the front and left sides of the green, including one that's the closest thing of the course to a pot bunker. To where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. Problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Birdie. Ah, the line. Perfect. That's 
in for a birdie. The closing hole here on the north course at the Los Angeles Country Club is a stern test at 492 yards. Bunkers must be navigated off the tee before setting up an approach that shows off the stately clubhouse beyond this 18 team. No issues here. That is into the fairway. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good approach here to the 18th and a good chance for birdie. Chance now for another birdie. That one just going to sneak on by. Okay, so she'll finish that off for her par here at 18. And that's all that was needed it's a 59. So all in all, Frank, what a round to witness. That was a ball striking clinic. Clinic is the right word, too. It was just clean as a whistle. Wonderful round of golf. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Navalo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.